Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to the logical journey of the Zumbinis. So, last time we saw an algorithmic solution to the allergic cliffs on the easiest difficulty. Today we're going back there and actually exploring a better solution to the problem. Now the reason this is not part of the algorithmic solution is because the algorithmic solutions essentially take just the simple problem and what the question mark block says about the solution and then carves a solution around that that you can use every time. Whereas the heuristic solution can take basically data from multiple different attempts, find correlations between the data, and then use that to create shortcuts in the algorithm. So one thing I noticed while practicing this is that the trait that causes the allergy on one of the cliffs is generally the trait that is most commonly shared among Zumbinis. So for example, we've got five red noses here. Red noses, that means they're quite likely to be the one that causes the allergic reaction, whereas if you've got like six or seven of a trait, that's also probably going to cause the solution. So right now we've got five red noses, so that's plausible. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six sleepy-eyed guys, so that's definitely possible. One, two, three, four, five bull cuts. All right, so from, from what I can see, the most likely trait that's going to cause the allergic reaction is the sleepy eyes. However, we also have one, two, three, four, five, six bicycles. So bicycles could also potentially be causing the allergic reaction. So I'm guessing it's sleepy eyes or bicycles are going to cause the allergic reaction. Let's try a sleepy eyed guy with a bicycle. All right, let's try bicycles. All right, it looks like bice. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Maybe it's bald heads. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, it's bald heads. Bald heads are the ones that he's allergic to. I didn't even see that. Wait, no? Oh, really? It's just red noses. Interesting. Because red noses were not even the most common trait shared. Well, actually, yes, they were. They were tied with all the other ones. So we had multiple traits that were Zumbinis had sick that were. You've done quite well. We had multiple traits that there, uh, were shared by six Zumbinis. So we had red noses were one, bald heads were another, bicycles were another, and sleepy eyes were yet another. So that one was a tough example to deal with. But if we replay this a few times, I think you'll see what's going to happen. So right off the bat, I'm noticing we have a lot of guys with glasses. One, two, three, four, five. Five guys with glasses. Interesting. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five guys with sunglasses. One, two, three, four, five, six guys with spiky hair. Ooh. I like the odds of that. One, two, three, four, five, six guys with propellers. So it's probably propellers or spiky haired guys. Let's try spiky hair, guys. Yep! So even just by looking at our Zumbini group, we can guess what the trait will be instead of having to use trial and error, which can yield better results in the long run, actually. But again, you would never be able to determine that just based on the rules. Because the rules does not say it's going to try to divide the Zuminis up into as equal groups as possible. It literally just says there will be one random trait that one will be allergic to. So going back here again, we got one, two, three, four, five, six people with uh, pink shoes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, seven people with blue noses. Okay, it's probably going to be blue noses then. If you've got seven of a trait, chances are that's going to be the one they're allergic to. Or alternatively, it could be... One, two, three, four, five, six... Oh, actually, it could be red noses, so we've got a 50-50 shot here. Okay, actually, he was allergic to red noses, so we have the same amount of red noses as blue noses. Well done! <laughs> and because of our guesswork, we actually got through it without using any pegs, which is kind of awesome. Let's try it one last time. Oh, a lot of green hat hair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven things of green hat hair. That's probably going to be it. So 
So as you can see, with just some simple guesswork, the heuristic solution can actually be a lot better than the algorithmic solution. I've gotten two perfect runs in a row. The last one required a little bit of guesswork. That one required no guesswork whatsoever. It was literally just looking at the zombies we had, and then taking the past test data I've gotten into effect, and determining that uh, the most likely trait that will cause the allergic reaction. In this case, it was the trait that was most commonly shared among the Zumbinis, which happened to be green hat hair. So that's the Allergic Cliffs on the Ergesius difficulty. Thanks for watching. I'm Color Fawarty. Tune in next time. We'll be going to the Oh So Hard rank. Have a great day, and God bless.